I've got my spot welder ready. This is a Melectrix Arduino spot welder. They're cheap, they're cheerful, they're fantastic. They do the job perfectly. I have done so many bloody spot welds now. I've had to replace the tips, buy some new tips once, which needs sharpening. Um, with regard to these probes, if you hold it like that and you fire the pedal, you won't even feel it because it's 12 volts, it just will not hurt you, believe me, it doesn't, you can't even feel it. The only thing that you might have danger with is these things can get quite hot, especially when you've been going along and going along and yeah, they do get very warm, um, so it's best to leave it a while. The battery itself, this is uh, two 16 amp hour tattoo blah 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 I can't remember wired in parallel um, this will give me about 500 amps and it needs it you, you, you can use a, a car battery they're fine but these things they, they pump it out for a long time for as long as you actually need I can do this whole battery with just one charge easily anyway what I'm going to do is I can't remember if I'm doing series or part. I'm doing series first. So I'm going to cut pieces off that long and then I'm going to get my scissors and I'm going to flatten When you cut them, it always bends it all. Hang on. So if I cut one because I'm left handed like this, there you go. Something you didn't know about me, I'm left handed. If I cut a piece, that long like that. Now generally what I do is I cut one and then I use it as a pattern so you don't have to measure every single one and then I don't know if you're going to be able to see this but I get my scissors and I flatten it down so as you've got a nice flat edge and then I always put it's always slightly curved so you put that side down like that and then you weld so I'm going to use holy shit I'm going to use this one. <laughs> I'm going to use this one as a pack it's fine perfectly safe because I haven't done the other side yet so I'm going to use this one as a pattern I'm going to cut as many series ones that I need to do so I'm going to do from there to there there to there there to there there to there and then I'll show you the other side That's one side, that's the series done on the one side. Now, what you've got to be careful with now, this is now live, it's dangerous. Uh, I've done the negative to there, to the positive to there, and on the other side, as you can see, I've got to put the negative on that one to the positive on that one. And then I've got to go from the negative on that one to the positive on that one. If you were to accidentally short those two across, even for a brief second, you'll knacker one or both of those cells. Because what will happen is, as soon as you get your nickel on the other side, um, it'll fuse it. It'll just completely fuse it and you've, you've knackered two cells. So you've got to be bloody careful. Um, so what I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do is it may be an easier way if I mark it that I've got to do that one to that one. So I've done that one to that one and then on the other side I've got to do that one to that one. So if I just mark those two like that and then I know I'm doing that one and then that one, then that one, then that one. That makes it much easier. Just to prove it. There you go. So I'm going to do all those when these are cooled down because these these bloody welding wires don't half get hot. All the, the old lot cabling gets really hot. 
let it cool down, sit there and cut your next 18, well I've got 18 pieces to cut off, cut your 18 pieces off and then you're ready to go again. That's all the series connections done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure uh, where's the voltage. I'm going to measure the voltage across these three points here just to make sure that it's all the same, and then I can start putting the parallel connections across. You don't really stand much danger putting the parallel ones over. You're pretty fine, <laughs> he says. Uh, the series ones are the ones to worry about. 100% safe. As long as you do it carefully and methodically, you'll be okay. Done. That was quick. Right, so now we've got the 3P 12, 12S 3P pack done. So that can go there for a minute. Um, what I'm going to do is the BMS hasn't turned up, so I can't really do a lot with it now. Uh, I'm going to put tags on here. Where are we? That's positive, that's negative. I'm going to put tags on here. Uh, or maybe just fly leads, wires or something like that down here, I don't know yet. <laughs> what am I talking about? Oh god, bollocks. Battery's sort of done. <laughs> um, it's wired, it's giving 50 volts, something, I don't know. You'll see on here that I've split these two pieces here. This is purely to spread the load between those three cells and I've done the same on the positive here. I've, I've split the load. That's all I've done and then obviously you've got the two connectors, uh, the two wires coming out onto a single connector. That's an XT90 connector, although it's not needed. XT60 would be fine. So that's done. I can't really do any more on that purely because I haven't got the BMS, it ain't turned up, so I wanted to get it done so as I can test it, plug it into the bike, see what happens. This is an active balancer, which basically doesn't work the same as a BMS, but it's what I'm going to use because it's cheap and it's cheerful and it does the job more efficiently. What it does, if we say that cell there is reading 4.2 volts, and then that cell there is reading at 4 volts. What it will do is it will pass the electric, it will pass the charge from that cell to that cell. Simple as that. Instead of doing a... a, 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 a <laughs> that's the battery minus which goes to the battery minus which is here. And then that one goes to the first cell which is battery positive on the first cell and then that one goes to battery positive on the second cell and so on and so on and so on until you get to the end and then hopefully it'll work
in case you haven't seen how I've done it you get the first one that says B minus and that goes to battery minus you get the next one and that goes to that one which is the positive the first positive and then you get the next one and it goes to the positive and then your next one the positive 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 until you get to the last one which goes to the main battery positive or the last positive on the in the in the string so because these are actually very well balanced I'm going to have to discharge one of them right so I've got my discharger and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire it up um, I'm going to discharge an easy one right I've got that set up now you can see it says it feeds at 4.11 volts I've discharged the fourth one two three four I've discharged that cell and then I've discharged that a bit just to make sure to see what happens in theory what should happen is it should be taking the power from the, these cells and then slowly transferring them into this uh, these cells here that's basically what happens so is it completely balances all the pack out so <laughs> And it's not doing anything. As you can see, it's taking what's that? Those three. I think it's charging those three cells there. I'll turn that off. LEDs. So I think it's actually charging those three cells, which I'll just check the voltage. Right, I've I've written them all down. These are all the original readings. Uh, then I decided to put a bit of charge in it. I don't know. I don't always think it to be honest <laughs> I thought I'll plug the charger in just to make sure. I don't know why Anyway, these are the current readings um, I've, I don't know if you can see but the four five the five LEDs are on here. This this does get I Can feel it doing something, but I ain't got a clue what it's actually doing at the minute um, so this is cell number one, which is four out four point oh two three. So up to cell number five or cell number six, you see it's saying five to six there. So it must it must be starting to take um, some of the voltage, uh, some of the power out of five or six or something, and transferring it from that side to this side. Well, all the lights have gone off. Uh, I'm, I'm pleased to say it works. It actually does balance, and I think it's 10 millivolts. So I'm happy with that. Very, very happy with it. Well, I think it's 10 millivolts. Hang on, I'll check. Right, I've been sitting here and I've been trying to get this active cell balancer working, and it's doing my absolute frigging head in. Well, I've taken that BMS off. Well, battery balance, balance, but. <laughs> What a pile of shit that is. I don't know if I've just got a duff one, but only one place for that. In the bin. So, I've got three more cells here, because I can't calculate. <laughs> one there, one there, one there. That's where they're going. I've also got two BMSs, uh, identical ones. One's going to go on here, and the other one's for the Xiaomi, so I can finally do a tutorial on video on, on how to program the things. Now, this is a 12S BMS, which I'm going to be converting into a 13S BMS for this. And it's quite easy, actually. What you do you can't see them oh you can you can just about see solder blobs in there all you do is you literally you just move the solder blobs which I've got to go into and you can make it into a 13 from a 12 to a 13 S so that's gonna go there simple as that um, obviously I've got to take it apart so as I can convert it which I'll do now Do you think you get a license if you're blind? No, you can't, because you can't see. 
or lesbian? Are you kidding me? Oh, lesbians are true. <laughs> That'll be drawing me. 